Why did I buy this one ounce Gold Britannia coin in this blister pack? Hello Future Investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. Now today I want to talk to you about this one ounce Gold Britannia King Charles III coin. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning. Now, why did I buy this coin with it being in a blister pack? Now I paid extra premiums for this, so why would I do that? What? Why would I not just buy this coin and get it in a capsule like this? This is particularly a proof capsule, but nonetheless, when you buy gold or silver bullion, from any sort of online bullion dealer, normally they're put it in a capsule just like this. However, as you can see here, this one ounce Gold Britannia is not in a capsule like that. It's actually surrounded by this beautiful blister card. Now, essentially, the reason why I decided to buy it in a blister card was for two reasons. One, it's obviously such a substantial amount of money. This coin cost me over £1,600, so it's no pocket change and I figured if I'm spending that amount of money I wanted as much authentication as possible for when it comes to sell the item a billion dealer or a coin dealer or a jeweler whatever I'm selling it to or even privately they can see the packaging and they can prove that it's basically an authentic bullion coin whereas if it's in a capsule maybe they might want to take it out and do further tests because there's no there's no sort of logo and information on the actual packaging itself. Now, another reason being it protects it very well. And this is going to sound silly, but I figured that if it was just in a capsule, if I was to say lose it, it would be much easier to find <laughs> with this big card, wouldn't it? If you dropped it, say, somewhere, the coin could potentially roll off in the capsule and you'll spend a while looking for it, especially if there's a lot of other stuff around. Whereas if you drop this, it's not going to roll anywhere and it's easy to find and uh, you know I think that's a good reason to also have it in a blister card. Now a third reason could be that because I'm a content creator on YouTube I like to look for content that hasn't particularly been filmed and I like to try and find content that will be most enjoyable for you guys. So when I was looking for my own personal benefit of a review of this coin in the blister card on YouTube I actually could not find a single video with this one ounce Gold Britannia King Charles III coin in this Royal Mint blister card. Now the reason I was looking for that was because I wanted to see for myself how it looked and was it worth paying a little bit more with the premiums just to get it in a blister card or should I have just bought it in a capsule. So I soon realised that when I purchased this coin in this blister card it would give me the opportunity to sort of create content out there that wasn't widely known about regarding the fact that this coin is in a blister card. Now I have been informed that a YouTuber by the name of Backyard Balloon, as most of you will know, apparently has done a video on this coin with the barb. So when I figured out there was not really many opportunities to figure out through YouTube videos if I would like to buy one of these, I thought well once mine arrives I will have to do my own video. So there are a few of the reasons why I decided to get it in a blister card. Now as most of you know, I like to collect my precious metals in sort of multiples. I don't really like having individuals of just one piece. So when it came to this one ounce Gold Britannia, my future purchases will always be in this blister card because as I say, I like to keep the same throughout my stack. Um, I like to have a certain number of each particular one. Now, as I am particularly only stacking Britannias now for the future, that will be one ounce gold Britannias in this blister card. Now, I don't necessarily mean it doesn't have to be a King Charles one. It could be a one ounce gold Britannia coin with Queen Elizabeth, as long as it is in a blister card. And I can just envision that once I have a fair amount of these, it will be quite a pretty stack to look at when you look at all of them lined up. You know, for example, when you've got, say, these two here and a multiple of others, they look pretty cool when they're all lined up. So, yeah, I would like to have more of these in the blister pack. I just think it's a really nice way to keep it safe, to show it's an authentic piece. And essentially, it's also brilliant for content creating. It reflects the light really well. And it's just a very, very beautiful piece. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye, guys. To watch another episode on future investments, click the link now.